Hello and welcome back to my channel or oh, welcome if you are new here. Today we are doing a, a first impressions video on an eyeshadow palette and it is the Cosmic Brushes Serenity Palette. And this is what she looks like. I, when I first saw this palette, I gotta say, I was like, what? It was kind of all over the place. I thought, what? I don't know if I really want this palette. But I saw people doing reviews on it and their looks just looked very, very beautiful. And I saw that they had the Muse palette, which is always sold out. So I thought maybe I should try this palette. It was 20 pounds. I want to say, but after shipping to the U.S. and the conversion rate, I ended up paying about $38 for it. And I don't know if it's still available, but they're always doing, I think, pre-orders and restocks and stuff and things like that. So I thought, okay, let's get it. When I got it here, it just looked so beautiful in the swatches. Oh my gosh, we're gonna do live swatches today. I'm not, I didn't pre-record them. And I did post some swatches over on my Instagram at Jennifer Loves Makeup One if you wanna go look at those, but those aren't that impressive. So that's why I thought we would do live swatches today day because some of these are absolutely beautiful now i will admit this shade right here called forest it is a dark forest green it did come shattered but i was able to press it back into place and it was very easy to do that so i just want to be upfront about that and this does come with a mirror it is cardboard and which I prefer that and this color right here oh my gosh what is it called opal yes <laughs> absolutely reminds me of an opal color but let's go ahead and do some live swatches and we're gonna do just one look in this video anyway if you're interested in seeing all of that then hang tight because we are getting right into it okay i have not played with this palette other than swatching it so i am going to swatch it on this arm here and let's start with the shade opal we've got odyssey and awake so this is that shade opal Oh my gosh, look at it. That's going to make a beautiful inner corner highlight and a brow bone. This is the shimmer Awake, a nice light gold shimmer. This, this palette only has one, two, three, four, five shimmers and this matte, this kind of periwinkle color is called Awake. So we've got those three colors. And then we've got this shimmer here called Wanderer, and then a matte called Pixie, I love that, and then a shade called River. So here is Wanderer, this beautiful, is that a duochrome? I don't know, it kind of looks duochrome but that's Wanderer. This is Pixie right here, a matte, purple shade here and this is river a kind of a dark teal color right there so we've got those two yeah that's definitely a duochrome we've got those three colors there and then this next color called twilight oh my gosh it is absolutely beautiful and then ether is also a beautiful shimmer and then sorbet okay we've got twilight which is a beautiful blue shimmer right there it's just got nice little sparkles in it not too much then we've got ether oh my gosh i've got to play with ether mm. and then we have sorbet right here which is a kind of lime green 
right there. Next we have that river color I was telling you about, which is a dark forest green forest. And then we have moss, which is a mossy green. Kind of to build it up a little, but that's okay. And then we have a light purple called Make-A-Wish. Might have to build that up a little bit. We've got that right there. Okay, let's move on to the other arm. And we've got eight more colors left. This is a 20 pan palette. Okay, we've got a brown here called Earth. Right here. Then we have a, another green called Spring. Right here. And then a darker green called Lagoon. So we've got a lot of greens and purples. So beautiful. And then this color I definitely want to try out. It's called Echo. We've got this very light blue called Echo. And then an orange out of nowhere called Oasis. Kind of a sorbet. <laughs> well, kind of a orange dreamsicle kind of color. We've got a shade called Oasis, right? I thought there was. Maybe there's not. Oh, this is called Oasis. No. We're kind of a sorbet color. We've got a color called sorbet, right? Yeah, it's a green color, a light green color. Okay, and then we have the last shimmer called, oh my gosh, no, that's not what it's called. It's called Serenity, which is the name of the palette. And then a very dark blue, look at that. Oh my gosh, I think I'm gonna use that today too, called Mood. And that is totally a mood for sure. And then I think this is a black and it's called mystical. That is kind of a, not, maybe that's a dark brown, not quite a black, but these are all the colors and the palette. And I think they are all very beautiful. So, yeah, okay, be right back. Okay, I am not gonna try to do anything too complicated. Sometimes when I do these first impressions, I try to, I <clears throat> try too hard. Okay, so, yeah, so we are just going to, I'm just gonna do a regular, I look like I usually do, but I'm going to try out this echo color which I'm very interested to see how this blue does because a lot of times these light blues are very hard to formulate and end up very patchy. Yeah, this is very light, I like that. I'm all primed up, I've got everything primed on my face. Okay, this is very nice. It's very pigmented, came across true to color as in the pan. And yeah, I don't think I could have asked for more from this color. Again, this is Echo. I guess it could have been a little more pigmented, but really as far as these light blue colors go, it really, really did a great job. So, and it went on. I didn't have to build it up or anything. And it only took just a minute or so to bring it out. So I'm going to go into this darker purple shade called Pixie. Like I said, I love that color name. I'm going to go into the crease with this color. And work it in there and kind of work it up. I wouldn't say, I'd say these aren't, um, 
really pigmented shades. They're not in your face pigmented. I would have expected this purple to be a little bit darker. Okay, so far these are making me think of pastel colors, which I don't mind pastel colors, but mm, let's go, let's try something a little deeper and see. Um, do I want this teal color or do I want this dark blue color? Mm, let's try this dark teal color. I hope I'm not putting too much on. Okay, let's see how this blends out. Okay, this is definitely a different look that I am used to doing, for sure. Okay, so I think it's looking good, really something a little different for sure. Let's play with some shimmers. I'm interested in taking this twilight color, this dark blue twilight color. I don't know if you can see that. And let's, let's try a brush first. Not gonna, is that the right side? No. <laughs> Um, let's try finger next. Oh yeah, we've got that blue shade down. Again, not as impactful as I thought it was going to be. But let's try this shade Ether on the inner, on the inner part now. Okay. Now we are talking something special here. Okay, take a look at that. Okay, I'm gonna clean up this look, put on some eyeliner and mascara, and then I'll show you what it looks like before I put on my makeup, okay? I'll be right back. Okay, here are the eyes with the eyeliner and the mascara on. For eyeliner, I use the Moira Statement Gel Liner, and for mascara, I use the Nude Sticks Mascara. It is the, um, I can't read what it says, the Lash Lengthening, it just says Lash Lengthening Mascara. There. That's all I could read. Okay, I'm going to go put on the rest of my makeup, and then we can finish out underneath the eyes. Okay, all right, I think it's looking good, and I don't usually like pastels that much. Okay, all right, be right back. Okay, this is what my makeup looks like so far, just to let you know what I have on. For my foundation, I am using the Beauty Blender Bounce a Liquid Whip Long Wear Foundation in the shade 2.10C. For powder, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Powder in Butter. butter. <laughs> okay, for bronzer. I am using the L'Oreal 24 hour fresh wear, infallible 24 hour fresh wear bronzer. I'm pretty sure this is in light. It is in the shade 200 and I think that's light. I don't think it's fair. I don't think it's in fair. <laughs> For blush. I always have trouble saying blush. It is the cover effects. Multichromatic, multichromatic blush duo, matte and a shimmer in the shade Mojave Mauve. Love, love, love these blushes. For highlighter, I have the Jeffree Star Supreme Frost in Hypothermia. 
really love the shift on this. I'm trying to keep everything cool toned today. For, I already told you, eyeliner and mascara. I'm going to be using the Bag Out Bang on my bottom lashes for eyebrow mascara. It's the NYX Mix. One in espresso. And for my lips, I have also have NYX. It is the This Is Milky Gloss in Ubi Milkshake. Okay, I think that is everything we've got going on now. Let us work on the bottom lashes. Okay, let's take let's take that purple shade and work it under the lashes. And let's I love that shimmer shade, that ether shade. Oh my gosh. It has got to be one of my favorite shades I've seen in a long, long time. This totally makes the whole palette. Also, this opal shade. I've already put it in my brow bone, as my brow bone highlight, because I just couldn't wait to see what it looked like. Okay, I was thinking about putting that teal in there, but it might be too dark. Do I just want to keep it like this? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Okay. I'm just outlining the... I'm outlining my lower lash line with this color river. And I'm trying to be... Okay, that looks okay. Try not to use it at its full opacity. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. So now I just want to see what that opal color looks like in the inner corner of my eye. And I just love inner corner highlights. Whether it be matte or something shimmery and multi or duo chromatic and yeah that is absolutely stunning yes that in the ether color totally absolutely make this palette worth it okay i'm just gonna put mascara under my eyes and we will be done okay this is the final look for the serenity it's just called a 20 color palette because i think there are Yes, press pigments in here. So it's not all well, eyeshadows. It's eyeshadows and press pigments in here. And yeah, let me see. I don't think it tells you which is which either. Yeah, it does. Yeah, Pixie Earth, Oasis, River, Serenity, Awake, Twilight, Moss, Ether, Make a Wish, Echo. Mystic are all pressed pigments. Okay. So probably most of the ones I used but then. Okay. So let me know what you think about this palette. What you think about the eye look I did. What colors would you use to make a look do you think? Okay. All right. Let me know everything in the comments down below. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And share this video with your friends if you feel so inclined. Anything you can do to engage with this video would really help. But just you watching to this point in the video also helps me out as well. Thank you so much for watching. Whether you are a subscriber, a casual viewer, or this is your very first time watching. If that is the fact and you like what you see, I would love it if you would hit subscribe. Hit that notification bell, set it to all so that you're notified every time that I upload a new video. So, I hope y'all are all having a wonderful, fantastic, amazing day out there today. If you're having an especially hard time, know that I am thinking about you. I'm sending you all of those good vibes right here, coming at you. Okay, and just remember to stay strong, stay healthy, and stay safe out there. And I will see you in another video soon. Just stay well until then, okay? Goodbye.